by the way of high seas, the forest trees and the western breeze. Flash, Mrs. Panda of the giant pandas was presented with a bundle of joy early this morning. It's a baby boy. Be back in a flash with more trash. A baby at the pandas. Let's go see it. A baby at the pandas. Let's go see it. Mama! Mama! The pandas have a baby boy! The pandas have a baby boy! So what? What then? A baby panda? My, my! What's his name? They ain't named him yet. He ain't got no name. Let's name him Elmer. No, no. Jack, Jim, Joe, Bill, Butch. Uh, how about uh, Elmer? Elmer. 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 Call him Wilbur. Yes, sir. Wilbur's the name. Quiet! 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 I'm going to call him Andy. Andy Panda. Andy Panda, that's a good name. Yeah, that's pretty good. Andy Panda. Yes, that sounds great. That's a swell oh, name. Oh, I still insist that Wilbur is a pretty name. I still insist that Wilbur is a pretty name. Are you feeling? Am I right? It's not me, Scott. Let me go. Let me in. Flash, Andy Panda is now six months old and has grown to be quite a problem child. I still think Andy ought to be called Wilbur. Andy, come with Papa and we go for a nice long walk in the woods. Why? So you can get acquainted with Mother Nature. Oh. Uh... Where does Mother Nature live? She lives in this great big forest. In a house? No, no, not in a house. In a tree? No, no, not in a tree. Oh, Playboy, huh?
Mama! Mama! Wait for me! Jump in it! Unquote. <laughs> Get nosy, Bob. Hello, Mayor. Yes, this is the Mayor. You gotta do something about these rats. Yeah, you gotta do something about these rats. Well, call the health department. No, I'm the Mayor, not a rat catcher. Rats are everywhere. Don't bother me with details. I'm a busy man. 
I'm a taxpayer and I want action. Mayor, get rid of these rats. Rat? Who's a rat? Well, catch them yourself. Yes. No way. You better get me out of here. My house is full of rats. Call the fire department. Call the health department. Call anybody but stop calling me. <laughs> The town's full of rats, so what can I do about it? Listen, mister, what you need is a Pied Piper. Yeah, that's it. A Pied Piper. Woo, 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 woo. Who said that? I did. Relax, Professor. I'm the Pied Piper. <laughs> For a small financial reimbursement, I'll run every rat out of this town. That's a deal, my friend. That's a deal. Hey, look, fellas. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Jackson, that guy's from Basin Street. Nice week, my boy, nice week, and here's your reward. I'm a busy man. Good day, Square. <laughs> That's humiliating. I won't wait for peanuts. You chiddler, you cheap crook, you deadly, you, you, who's got a dish? to me every time. Well, there's no alternative. Here goes the kids. Love came but once to me. All others fled. A dream of love
Shorty. Blue. I guess it's time for a Woody Woodpecker cartoon. <laughs> Don't bother me, Andy. Can't you see I'm busy? Guess who? like you put on my roof. what I did to the last guy that tried that? Why, well, I tore him limb from limb! <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, look at him. He's got me. He's got me. <laughs> He's got me. Hold uh, uh, tight, Pop. Here we go. <laughs>
down to that plane. My mother told me to take this one. <laughs>
Well, what do you know? If it ain't my old friend Red Riding Hood in person. And what, might I ask, have you got in the basket? I've got a basket of food for my grandma. I bet you, I bet you have, I bet you. You don't say. Mind if I have a look? Hmm?
This is the home of Wally Wallace, owner and manager of a quiet and respectable rooming house. As we look in on this reputable old fuddy-duddy, we find him enjoying his weekly bath. While upstairs, a slap-happy tenant is enjoying a game of, well, of all things, <laughs> indoor golf. overlook this little incident. But I'm not going to! <laughs> now, one more peep out of you and... Here, read the rules.
fortune, trick and span, every little candy man is busy making some kind of confection. A pinch of salt, a little spice, stir this mixture once or twice, and cook until it's done to a perfection. Then it's poured out in the mold, filled with nuts as it grows cold, it's wrapped in cellophane for your protection. Luscious flavored honey juice, candy sticks of rainbow juice, are ready now, so make your own selection. Peppermints and colors gay, red and green and white. English toffee, oh I say, it's jolly good, all right. Lollipop, lemon drop, bonbons, good as sweet. Even Scotty Butterscotch will offer you a treat.
A shoemaker worked at his bench all day Trying to make his shoe shop pay But business was bad and he had the blues As he worked on his last pair of shoes His money was gone, the cupboard was bare With just one donut for him to share Very simple. 
Ain't an echo for the individ. Fuck it, it's a double A, kiddo. When the old couple arose at dawn, the elves heard them coming and quickly were gone. They looked in amazement and rubbed their eyes to see all the shoes. Was quite a surprise. No shop in the country had such lovely shoes. Customers flocked there when they heard the news. The queen of the kingdom bought twelve dozen pairs, and by that evening the shells were bare. <laughs> Until the old cobbler had money to burn In silks and in satins his wife was arrayed So they both decided the elf should be paid Surprise! your dinner, Captain, sir. Oh, hi. You ate my T-bone steak. Oh, was that yours? Well, it was too rare. <laughs> Get him! Chicken or guinea hen. Oh, hello there. I'm from U.S. of A. Woody Woodpecker's the name. 
Nice place you got here. Oh, man, I tell you, I've been traveling for weeks, and it sure is nice to see a friendly face. Boy, I'm hungry. Uh, what are you having for dinner? You, with relish. Whoa! This guy wants to eat me. dinner. When he gets to the center of my crosshair sight, I'll let him have it. Uh-oh, here he comes. How did he do that? I'll get him this time. Hold still, you dumb woodpecker! <laughs> Meat on the table. <laughs> Watch him fall for the old coconuts in the bag trick. What you gonna do, Dudley? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You go stand there where X marks the spot. Uh, I don't see any X. Oh? Here, hold this rope. What a dumb woodpecker. <laughs> now you go over there. Okie dokie. Right here? Yes. Peep show. 25 charming beauties. They shimmy and they shake. Action and thrill. Hmm. Very interesting. Here's my dinner. To cook a bird, uh, you must first remove the feathers. Oh, ouch! Oh, oh, help! Uh, oh, C cut that out! Oh, 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 help! Oh, no! Ouch! Oh, no, no, ouch! Oh, 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 no! Help! That's a lot of feathers. Oh, oh, ouch! Oh, 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 oh! That bird must be all plucked by now. Oh, that's smart. Simmer down, Sam. Let's make a deal. Suppose I cook you a chicken dinner. Oh, boy. Could you do that? Just leave it to me. I can hardly wait. I almost believe it myself. I'll get the wine. Yum, yum. It's a coconut! Swab? Hey, what's going on here? 
You, my friend, are the lucky winner of an ocean cruise. Oh, yeah? Well, how come? You happen to be at the right place at the right time. Oh, gee, where are we going? Come on, I'll show you as a map. Here's your map. I thought you said map. No, I said mop. Now get to work and start earning your free ocean voyage. <laughs> well, you can sail without me, because I'm getting off this tub. Oh, no, I've been shanghaied. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Captain? I can't understand you. I said, get this blasted bucket out of my mouth. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying, Rat? I can't understand you. I said, get this blinking bucket off me head. Oh, sure. <laughs> Let's go find that woodpecker. Must be hiding around here somewheres. Rat, come here. Look down there. I'll hold you by the feet. Aye, aye, Captain. Lower me a little more, Captain. I don't see nothing, Captain. Ow! Help! I'm stuck! I'm stuck again! How does this grab you, Captain? Too hard. Yeah, it's that woodpecker. It's your fault. You shanghaied him. Oh, yeah. How about me five pounds? Never mind. Go catch that woodpecker. Shoot him down. Here's the cannon, Captain. Uh oh. Hurry up, Rat. Bring the cannonball. <laughs> what a couple of clowns. I'll shoot him down this time, and you keep out of the way. Go batten down the mizzen. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I think I'm going to faint. That's the last time I'll ever Shanghai a woodpecker. That reminds me, Captain. How about me five pounds? OK, mate. Miami Beach, straight ahead. <laughs>
hello, dear. Did you have a nice afternoon? No, I did not. How'd you get wet, Bessie? Because it's raining out there, and that's how I got wet. And I'll tell you another thing, Charlie. I'm not going to get wet again, because we're going to get an automatic garage door opener. Oh, well, I... I saw a man demonstrate one downtown, and they cost only $200. Wait a minute. I can make one of those things, and it won't cost nothing. I'll do it myself. Here we go again. There it is, Bessie, an automatic door opener. You stand right there, and I'll demonstrate. Now watch this. Just a few bricks will do the trick. Now I've seen everything. Well, I'll be a monkey's ante. How about that, Mrs. Know-it-all? Wait a minute. You mean we have to carry a load of bricks in the front seat all the time? So what? They don't cost no $200 and... Charlie. By George, I think I've got it. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'll just try it out. Now I drive up to the tank. Stop. Turn on the gas. Now I drive in. How about that, huh? I got brains. I'm smart. I'll go call Bessie and show her how it works. Help! Bessie! Get this door off of me! <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, that... Oh, uh, uh, that's a balloon. A balloon? This time I got the right idea. Rocket power. What bird brain scheme you got this time? Go ahead and ridicule, Bessie. But this time I got it. And I made it all by myself, too. That's what I'm afraid of. Now watch this. Now I lean out the window and light fuse. Now watch the door go up. Well, it went up all right. That's right. Send me the automatic garage door opener. And, oh, yeah, bring me a new garage door, too. All right, Bessie, you win this time. But I'll tell you one thing. I will install it myself. Hmm. Any day I can't do a simple job like this, well, everybody thinks I'm some kind of a boob or something. All right, Bessie, just watch that garage door when I push this button. Oh, that's real cute, Charlie. How do you do that? There's something wrong with this dumb control thing. Me, won't you, Charlie? I have work to do. The door! It worked! <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, I, 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 I don't know.
the untouched beauty of the frozen North ice fields. What peaceful silence and tranquility. Oh, no! What's this? It looks like an icebreaker. Out to plunder the land of one of its greatest natural resources, oil. You better believe it. I'm looking for oil. Oil, oil, liquid gold. And I'm going to find it, too. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, men. We will build an oil derrick on this spot. Now get to work. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I better go tell Maxie. Maxie, Maxie, wake up. Some people have come. They're gonna build oil well. Oh, well. Oil well, it ends well. <laughs> no time for jokes, Maxie. Last time man put up oil well, it sprung a leak. And, and poor Uncle Walrus got all covered with oil. Yeah, I remember that. And remember our pal, Goonie. Yeah. Yeah, we used to call him the oily bird. <laughs> and poor Sammy Salmon got all gooey, too. Uh, this time we're gonna do something about it, Chili. Now hear this. We are taking over this area. All inhabitants, clear out. Did you hear that? This time we're prepared. I repeat, you have five seconds to clear out. One, two, three, four. Four! Okay, Mr. Earl Slick. We order you to clear out. You kooky creatures, this means war! Slick, uh, the oil rig is ready to go. Well, don't just stand there. Start pumping. you North Pole bandits for this. <laughs> you men get busy and build that derrick again. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Don't run up, but I'm frazzled. Here comes Captain Slick. I command you to lower the bridge. Uh, shall we lower it, Chili? Yeah. I said lower it. I'm tired of being a nice guy. Now I am mad. Here he comes again. Here comes an egg from your friendly Easter Bunny. Whoa. Get back! Dad, what right, a damn frazzle brindy! What, what do we, we do, do now, now, Captain? Let's get out of here! Well, I guess we won't see him anymore, Chili. Let's go home, Maxie. <laughs> <laughs>
Ahoy there, woodpecker. Yes, sir, Captain, sir. I'm going ashore for a noggin of grog, and I want you to guard me pieces of eight. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, aye, aye, sir. Now guard them with your life, and don't let nobody aboard this ship. Don't worry, Captain. <laughs> My ship anchored out there, and she's loaded with gold. Millions of pounds of gold. Now get over there and play me a tune on the piano. Come 
Chicago World's Fair, 1898. Good for one balloon. What's that? What did you say? Let me see. Good for one balloon? I thought he said doubloon. I'm wiped out. I'm a pauper. Me too. red-handed trying to steal those fishes. And that's city property. Now give them to me. <laughs> now get out of the park before I call the paddy wagon. Oh, well, my mother told me there'd be days like this. You! 
time, all the sleepy bears of the forest look for a place to hibernate, where they will sleep all winter, not coming out until the first sign of spring. Oh, that 
snoozing Bruin is back in my tree again. Boy, wait till you see what Uncle Woody's got planned for old snoozer this time. Too bad you're such a sound sleeper. You'll miss it. First, we put on our shiny new skates. Then our peachy keen safety belt. And last but not least, our go, go, go power. And away we go. take it any longer. I haven't slept in months. The birds are singing. And the flowers are blooming. And there's a first robin. Well, what do you know? Spring has sprung. The bears will be waking up. Oh, boy. I'm gonna sleep for two weeks. Oh, hum. Boys and girls, it's time for the turkey drawing, and the winning number is 72774-7977. That's me. I got it. I got it. Uh, that's my number. Uh, I win. Well, let's see. 72774-7977. Congratulations. You win the turkey. I wonder if my folks will let me keep him. We're crying out loud, Charlie. You look like you've seen a ghost. Bessie, there's a wild thing in there. It's got a long red neck and big wild eyes, uh, and it tried to eat me. Oh, Charlie, what an imagination. Gee whiz. What's the matter with you, Charlie? That's only Junior in there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes! There it is again. Charlie, you're a nut. Let me look. <laughs> trying to do to my turkey. Oh, for God's sakes. Hey, Bessie, it's only Junior and he's got a turkey. I want him at the show. That's fine, Junior. We'll have him for Sunday dinner. What do you mean? We can't eat him. He's a pet. Oh, no. 
If he hangs around here, he gets eaten. What happened to your nose, Charlie? Never mind my nose. I've decided to take care of that bird right now. is the big city, a city in big trouble, for it is here that the police have tried in vain to capture that messy little criminal, Louie the Litterbug. <laughs> now to do my dirty work. <laughs> But at this moment, 
the police are planning one last desperate effort. And so, gentlemen, I have made my decision. I will use the hotline to our secret agent. Hello there. This is Secret Agent W-O-O-D-Y. Okay, Woody, I'm turning the job over to you. I want you to bring in Louie the Litterbug. Will do, Chiefy. Consider it done. <laughs> today that the search for Louie the Litterbug has been turned over to secret agent Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> That's a laugh. That dumb nut couldn't find its seeds in a watermelon. <laughs> Here he comes. who may have missed that, we will show it again through the magic of the instant replay. <laughs> now, once more, for your double pleasure, we'll show you this again. They think I'm going to go along with that instant replay stuff again. They're crazy. Watch me this time. Secret Agent Woody, and here's your reward. All in a day's work, Chief. Goodbye. Well, that'll buy a lot of bird seed. Stop, little bug. Secret Agent Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> 